All right, Zach, I'm going to do a quick video on how to use the um, editor in WordPress. So I'll go ahead. Let's say I'm at my site page. I've logged in, so I have this bar up here. I'm going to go to my blog, and I can either go to the dashboard, which looks like this, shows you all your stats and information, or you can go to new posts right there or you can go under posts here and click add new so I'll make a title I would recommend making it a lot more catchier than title and then I'm going to start typing something and if I want to add an image I would go ahead and sorry I don't know if you saw that go ahead click this button which is the image button from computer you're going to select a file and since I don't have any there I'll go to this folder which I made for AGRS and I'll upload this pretty picture of the droid 2 so that's in there you can upload more by hitting command A or if you're using Windows control A and I want to align it right Actually, I do mine all center, but if you're doing a lot of text, you want to line it right or left, depending on where you want it. If you're lining right, you're definitely going to want to use medium or thumbnail. But I'll line it uh, left for now, and I'll do it at full size. So then I click Insert into Post. Don't worry about that Uses Default Image. That's for the theme I'm using. Um, you then see all this uh, HTML code. If you want to see what it actually looks like, you can click the Visual tab in which case you have the text there and you have the image if you want to block quote something you'll use that by highlighting the text then clicking this button or to do that in the HTML editor which I would definitely recommend if you're doing any kind of productivity at all you can um, block quote by highlighting text for example this and then hitting block quote it then sets it aside and in visual it would look a lot different and be set aside and depending on your theme there'd be a line or there'd be giant quotes around it if you want to link something because you are a good boy and source your information when you're done typing a bunch of stuff I would then make a source or sources if you have more than one New York Times never use them times and then I don't know in gadget so I then highlight the New York Times I would click link and I don't know what their website is I think it's the nytimes.com I'd hit enter that then specifies that this text goes to this website there should be a www dot there and then in gadget for that one I can just double click and then type in gadget.com or if you've copied a link like this link up here you would hit control a and just paste it into here so then if we go to visual we can see that these are clickable links by someone viewing the blog you probably won't have a lot of categories, but you'll definitely want to consider making categories. I would then add those to what I want. Tags are very important. For example, plane crash 282 or whatever is relevant to what you're talking about. This will make you searchable on the website and the rest of the internet. Add those. Um, then you would just click either save as draft or you can publish it live right then and there to give you a good idea of what a good sourced post is and I put this in the link in the document I sent you this will show you images not links sorry Sites being slow. 
Apple iPhone 4 My Thoughts. This is what good images would look like. You're talking about something. This is a medium-sized image, which people can click on to enlarge. You're going to have bullet points or bolded text like I use. This is real small images, and that's about a medium-sized image. And always make your images link as closely to what you're talking about as possible. A video, but it's been removed due to terms of use. Here are my sources that I use for the information. Engadget, Apple Incorporated, uh, Silicon Alley Insider. I abbreviated it. And then because people don't know what that is, I would definitely consider doing that and not making that part of the link. Um, on a lot of sources, let's go, couldn't find the one that had the most sources, but let's talk about this one that my friend Nicholas did. He used much larger images, and he didn't source the dang thing. Um, yeah, this is a good example of a gallery or a slideshow of the Rockfish tablet. And there, source in Gadget. That's just one source. Um, again, use the links I sent you to see more examples of sources. And the theme I thought that would work best for what you're trying to do and I included it in the uh, how-to was Oleopo. So when you do want to go make a theme or choose a theme other than the basic WordPress theme, you're going to scroll down from your dashboard to the appearance section. It is probably minimized, so you're going to want to hover over it and click the right of it. Then select themes. It will bring you to this page. These are random. You can go recently added, most popular, or A through Z. If we go popular, um, you can see what people really like to use. And if you don't want to do a lot of work on the theme, like I have to do a lot of work, I would definitely look for Oliopo, O-U-L-I-P-O, if you want to search it yourself. I'll click preview because I do not want this as my theme. If you have a custom header, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, see, this allows you to make one long post, one short post, anything you want to do. These are widgets. I would definitely recommend adding them since you're the only author. Don't worry about this. Um, subscribe. Good idea if people want emails of new posts. Your top posts, that'd be a good idea. Don't worry about this. This is for me. A post calendar if you're doing a lot of posting. Recent news uh, details your... Uh, post that you've done recently um, a good idea is to have an archive um, this the cloud just shows most popular uh, categories blog role which I'll add you to in here um, you don't really need that unless you want to promote my site please do um, and then behind the scenes is meta making it easy to log into your site I would definitely consider having that on my site and if you want to add widgets, you just go from Appearance. Underneath Themes is Widgets. As you can see, I have Authors, Blog, Subscriptions, Top Posts, Text, Calendar, and all those other great things. If I didn't have one, I would have to, for example, I wanted Blog Subscriptions, or here, a calendar. I would simply take and drag it over to where I wanted it to be. The higher up on here is the higher up it is on the site. Add that in, type a title for it, and then click save but I do not want this so I'm gonna drag that back out of there meta is under the title meta which it's not going to show up here because I already have it in but definitely go through and look at these look at the descriptions and fill them out they definitely make people uh, think your site looks better and that makes them want to come back because they can easily find what they're looking for again f uh, read the entire tutorial follow it to the uh, tooth and nail and it will help you create a really nice site that people want to visit and will have them coming back. Also, always have a signature at the end of a post. Example, this one is something Nicholas and I put together. Um, put the tilde, which on a computer is shift, and the key next to the number one key, your name, and then your title. If you don't have a title, that's fine. Not everybody does. 
nice gallery. Um, that's about it. Hopefully you can tolerate listening to this video. And hopefully everything works out. You can always feel free to email me at z.agrs at msn.com. I included that in the tutorial. The tutorial is a little bit over-expletive because I intend on using this tutorial for other people as well.